In this demonstration video, I'm going to show you how we automate survey feedback collection using our triple seat integration. As you can see, the workflow here demonstrates how triple seat works with the loop experience platform. As you can see, you go through here and you set up your events normally in triple seat as you would typically. Then using loop, you can automatically schedule pre event survey for your feedback for your events as well as post event survey feedback. Once you're running your events in triple seat, it will then go ahead and automatically send your post event survey collection request from your events. And then you're able to review your insights in loop. Let's take a look and see how this looks on the back end of loop. So you, now you are seeing the back end of the loop experience platform. Over on our left hand side, you will see the loop inbox the loop tickets, the loop projects, and then of course your settings tab. So let's start by taking a look and seeing what survey projects look like in loop. So if you select projects, we will open our project categories. This of course is a demo account, so it has pre-populated surveys within. And we will scroll down and take a look at the pre-wedding event survey that I have set up to go with this triple seat integration. If you could take a moment here and scan the QR code on your right hand side, you'll be able to see the customer facing survey that we have set up with this account. This is just a demo survey, so it will give you an idea of what your survey could look like. On this summary page of your survey, you'll be able to see the number of questions associated in the survey, as well as the number of pages. And then of course, how your survey is being distributed. This of course is a QR code, so you can go ahead and copy the link or download the QR code itself as a PNG file. So now that you've gone ahead and seen what the customer facing survey looks like, let's take a look at the back end and how it is designed. This is the design template for all of the surveys. On the left hand side, you'll be able to see all the different types of survey questions. This includes everything from single input to checkbox, radio group, drop downs, comments, you name it, it's in here. And to pull a new survey question, it's very, very simple, it's literally drag and drop. So I just dropped a Boolean question in. And as you can see, my thumbs show up there uh, automatically. There are, of course, all sorts of options you have here to go ahead and customize your questions. So of course, everything from naming your question to changing your theme from thumbs to smileys that's up to you. You can, of course, set up things like conditional logic, layout, etc. So there's lots of ways you can go ahead and customize your survey here. Once you're happy with your survey, you can go ahead and preview it and see exactly what your customer will see right here. From there, you also have the option to set up conditional logic. So if you can branch your question types, and then of course you have translation. So if you do need to use a language other than English, that is an option for you. When you're looking at your email distributions with our triple seat integration, you will be using our email channel for distribution. So with the email channel, you can go ahead and set up your design for your email. Again, this is all customizable. You can literally drag and drop all of these buttons and headings right within the actual templates. You of course can set up link channels with using those QR codes and links if you would like to start collecting uh, real-time experience uh, as opposed to just the automated feedback collection. Loop also offers kiosk options. So if you are collecting real-time feedback in location, you can set up a kiosk to run a survey as well. Within our action framework, you do have the ability to create tickets based on customer feedback. So if you want to ensure that you follow up with a customer if they've had a less than satisfactory experience, you can set that automated workflow up using your surveys. It's as simple as adding a new filter, naming it, setting your conditions. So this based on everything here. So how easy was it to find information about our venue? If for some reason somebody answers a two and you want to be notified, you can set that filter. This is all customized based on your own individual workflows. And most importantly, you have your survey insights. 
So it is very important to collect customer feedback, but what you do with that feedback is critical to your business. Making sure your customers are heard by making changes will really help improve your business in the long run. So this is where you will be able to view all of the feedback collected by your customers. Of course, this is a demo account, so you're not going to be able to see a lot of information here, but you will be able to see this with your own populated survey using different panels based on your question types. All of these panels can be exported as a PNG or an SVG file or CSV file, as well as an entire export of the entire dashboard located right here. Then finally, there is the responses tab. So if somebody does leave responses to your survey, you can view everything right here. So how does the automated workflow with Triple Seed roll out? Well, now that we've gone ahead and created our survey and we've set our email templates for the post follow-up feedback, we go into this Triple Seed settings down here under integrations. So the way it works is Loop is listening to your Triple Seed platform which means it is looking for information based on the events you submit through that platform. You put in your API key to sync up Loop and Triple Seat together so that listening can happen. This only has to happen once and it's not overly complicated to do, so don't be afraid. We also have experienced customer success managers that are very well versed in how to do this. Once your Triple Seat accounts and your Loop accounts are synced up and they are listening to one another, you can go ahead and set your conditions. So if you are collecting post-event feedback, as an example, you can unfurl it right there and determine exactly how you want your feedback to automatically be created. So as you can see, I've got a bunch of mock events here. So we'll use that wedding example yet again. And you see wedding here on the bottom half. So you select your dropdown and we are going to choose the post stay survey. Here you can determine when you want this to be delivered after your event is closed out. So let's just say we want this to be sent to our customers one hour after the event closes. So you pop in one hour there and then you turn on the survey. It's as simple as that.